Ladies and gentlemen, what's going on? It's Gannon Neff from Nest Tech, but today I want to check out this Yeget Agate High Tech Create Art. High Tech Create Art. Okay, USB flash drive from the Dollarama directly. It actually has a Dollarama uh, printer right out on the card. So I've seen these Yeget units available for sale on Amazon in the States. Full video, only $4, has a Dollarama seal of approval right on the back. Works with Windows 7, 8, Vista XP. Jeez, that's interesting though. It doesn't say that it works with Windows 10. I'm sure it works with Windows 10. Just doesn't say. Interesting. It like, why wouldn't it say it works with Windows 10? Why would it not say it works with Windows 10? So, interestingly enough, you gotta cut along the sides. They do not have a standard pair of scissors, so. Let's see how fast this baby moves. USB 2.0. Maybe I should do a stress test on it to see exactly how much time it can be read and written to. So it's interesting to see a 16 gigabyte USB drive coming from the dollar store. That's for sure. Oh, geez, that was, it was clipped out. I had to snap that in. All right, let's run a few tests on this bad boy. All right, let's do a benchmark. SD card test pro. Let's run that sucker. And I got an on-the-go cable that I can use here to easily plug it in to a phone. I definitely recommend uh, you get one of these. They are so super useful. And I'll run a test. I'll be right back once it is done. Blah! 12 megabytes write, 28 megabytes read. Test done, and we got a respectable 12 megabytes write and 27 megabytes read per second, of course. Next up, we're going to try a USB 3.0 of Blackweb. Blackweb is Walmart house brand name, and uh, it's not the most reliable, but of course, uh, we're going for price, not productivity here, right? So, let's run another test. We'll be right back. I know definitely did a little bit better at uh, 12 meg or 22 megabytes versus 12 and uh, 32 megabytes read versus 27. You know what? Next up, let's compare this to some other stuff. Next, next up, I want to compare it to the USB that I found had been left out all winter. Let's see how this thing does. Left outside all over the winter. Got uh, 5 megabytes right, 17 read. Definitely the slowest so far. Next up, we're going to test out the Agate Micro SD. This is also 16 gigabytes and uh, four bucks from Dollarama. Let's see how it compares. 11 down, 10 up. Next up, let's try a SanDisk Ultra, 32 gigs. So after going through multiple tests, here is the scores I've been getting. Um, actually, this unit only got a 6 and a 10. 6 for read, 10 for write, and that's the same as the Transcend over here. An 8 gigabyte, uh, 4 in a circle. And it's supposed to be a 10 in a circle or a 1U. So I'm wondering if maybe I've, uh, outuse this thing. Uh, you know, the longer you use SD cards, the quicker that they're going to die. And interestingly enough, that's the score we've been getting about uh, everything. Next up, let's crack this unit open and see what they smell like on the inside interestingly enough there's not really a lot going on on the inside I'm just trying to get it out without destroying it come on Yeah, not really much information going on in there, but the speed ain't that bad for the money. For the price, honestly, it's not that bad. You egg it, if you just need to be throwing things around from here and there, it's pretty much the same as any basic USB. And this is it for me, folks. Have a good one. Take care of each other. Like and subscribe if you like this stuff. Always appreciate it. Catch you later.